Hey, how you doing? Robert Phillips here, The Funnel Man. And today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at ClickFunnels 2.0. And I'm going to show you how to create a new workspace and then take a share funnel link and put it into that new workspace. I hope this will be helpful. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go to my ClickFunnels account and we will check it out here. So here we are at the ClickFunnels account. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your workspace up here. Then you're going to come down to your whatever workspace that you have because you have to, you have to start out with a workspace. Okay, so once you have one workspace and then, you, you know, if you want to create different workspaces, this is how you do it. So you go up here to your main workspace, you come down here, you find your workspace, you click on that, and then it opens up your dropdown. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here to Team Settings, okay? You're going to click on Team Settings, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go right here to Team Workspaces. So let's go ahead and click on Team Workspaces, and if you notice, I have several workspaces here, okay? Fun Man, I've got a CS. 2.0 certification GS templates and now let's add a new workspace because I want a place for all my client funnels. What I've been doing is I've been putting all my client funnels inside of uh, my regular workspace but I want a separate workspace for all my client projects. So let's go ahead and add new workspace okay and let's call it client projects. I think that's a good name client projects okay. So now what I'll do is I will create workspace. Okay, and if you notice, now I have a brand new workspace, client projects. And you know, if you try to do this on your own, uh, it's, it's rather uh, difficult because, you know, there have been so many uh, iterations, so many different changes to ClickFunnels 2.0. Okay, but this is the most simple way to do this. Okay, trust me. Okay, now let's take a look at how to create a, or how to get a, a share funnel link. You know, when somebody sends you a, a funnel and you want to put it into one of these workspaces, what you're going to do is you're going to get the link. So let's, uh, let me grab the link right quick. Okay. And uh, once I get the link, we will put it in there. Okay. So let's uh, copy a link. Okay. So now, now let's do this. Okay. I have a link. Okay. So now let's go back. Let's go back over here to, let's go right here to back to where we were, okay? And this time what we're going to do is we are going to go to, which is, we're going to go to funnels right here, okay? And once we go to funnels, okay, now, now what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to your workspace and you're going to, you're going to go to that new workspace that you created, okay? So here we just created client projects, okay? That's my brand new workspace. However, I don't want this funnel to go into client projects. So since you have several workspaces, okay, if you do, okay, I'm going to put this new share funnel, I'm going to put it right here in this workspace that I have, okay? So you just click on that and now what you're going to do is you're going to come up to the browser and you're going to put that share funnel link in your browser, okay, just like this, okay? So once you have it in your browser, all you're going to do is click enter, okay? And what it's going to do is it's going to ask you which one of those workspaces do you want to put it in. And I'm going to put it in this one right here. And if you notice, there's the new one we created, Client Projects. But I'm going to put it in this one. Okay. And so, okay. And if you notice right now, you don't see it. Okay. Because over here, okay, it blinked for several times and it lets you know that that's what it's doing, but it's still not here. Okay. Because what we're looking for is the new one. So you're going to go over here and you're going to refresh your page. And now look, business event funnel. So here it is. Okay. Here is your new funnel that you put into your brand new workspace, okay? I honestly, you know, um, I want these things to absolutely be helpful to you, 
okay? Because uh, there's so much to learn, you know? And it's just so cool because doing any kind of digital stuff like this right here, you know, like switching cameras, okay? I've got cameras all over the place, but now I'm in this camera, okay? However, you know, if I want to go to the other camera, then all I have to do is just go to the other camera, which is this camera that I have right here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to be putting out some awesome content on my channel here. And uh, later on, I will be putting this video also. I'll be putting it and spreading it out on my other social media platform. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, we'll talk to you real soon. This is Robert. Funnel man, go ahead and you know, take a look at my portfolio at www.parttimefunnelbuilder.net and go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm gonna be having some awesome stuff for ClickFunnels 2.0 and other design things that I've learned over the years. Okay, have a good one. We'll talk to you real soon. I really appreciate you being here and thank you so much. Have an awesome day. Okay, goodbye.